Hey folks and good afternoon. Today is June 8, 2012 and we're back. What a Friday. Not to wrap up, just a little quick app that we have found earlier this morning. So we were searching the app store and we found this cool app. It's called Any.Do with capital D-O. It's free for the iOS device. This includes iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touch and see. So it's, once you launch it up, uh, let's close it all. Okay, let's launch it. You get a little check mark in the middle. Yours will be different with different tasks at the beginning. So basically, it's very, very close to the app Clear for the iOS. So you have many functions that are the same. So we have today, tomorrow, this week, and later. If you continue to pull up, it brings up this little area. We could sort our events by date. Folders that we place them in and done, which includes everything that has been completed. For example, pull down to create a new task. So you pull down. Let's go back. If you pull down, you have this. Oh, sorry about that. For it. If you pull down, you get to, I want to dot 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 and then you can click your task. Once they're typing, a bar shows up. You have your mind, share, and add. Alright. Uh, let's go back. You could tap to add a reminder or share which directly into right there's the personal or work. Let's try. Okay. You could try personal. Then right there is very similar to pull down. You can pull the Pull down and hold to start talking. This is very, very useful for me, people. So let's try. Um, let's see. Make a reservation to Golden Corral in Michigan. Now after you're done talking, just thinking. This is a great app for business and personal use, period. We love this app, period. Hopefully it caught us. This is part of it. It's very accurate. Right there. So we can go. Alright, so done. You can tap and hold to drag me around. That would be sick. So, right here you can tap and hold, which you can put it on different folders, put it in personal. I'm using date mode. You can pull, hold down, tap, and put it today, tomorrow, this week, or later. And you can reorder them. Um, right here it says swipe to the right. Swipe to the right to place. So say that, attend graduation, swipe to the right. Right here it will have a line crossing out what extras you can move which deleted sliding to the left means that it's not complete and get rid of the X and last but not least shake to remove me so let's try that this is a wonderful app period oh, that's way off <laughs> that's really way off let's try it so let's say that we have, thank you, so I just one hand, so thank you, if you swipe to the right, and then shake, hopefully it works, it has a little number come up that tells you how many deleted items there are, which you can pull up, done, and it shows you right there, shake to remove me, and delete forever, or delete all at once. All right, now pulling down as you already know now. Holding will bring you to voice mode. Pulling down really fast will bring you to typing mode. Pop our keyboard, which you can type in whatever you need. And then just regular. So this is very, very clear. Very close to the pro to the app clear for the iOS device. 
And this has been a quick look at Clear for the iOS device. Thank you for watching. Please like us, subscribe, and we'll see you later in the next video.